Yes, sir. My tricker. Back up in this thing, man. Today, we'll be kicking off 2024 with some creepy TikToks that'll leave you flabbergasted. Let's do it. 99% of the phones in the world uh -huh. are being tracked by every single government through push notifications. Okay, take a deep breath. For this thing to work at all, it has to talk to cell towers, which means the carriers know where you are at all times. And the FBI and law enforcement agencies have a run book for how to get that data from the carriers often warrantless. When they don't want to go through the carriers, they'll often put up a fake tower called a stingray and they'll get your location that way. All of that is without GPS, but Google and Apple don't have carrier data. They do have GPS data. Now, a few years ago, they realized GPS could be a little bit unreliable. It could be like a few yards off. And they realized that if they instead used Wi-Fi networks, they could exactly pinpoint your location down to like the inch. So when they map the streets with Google and Apple Maps, they're actually also secretly mapping the location of every Wi-Fi network in the world so that when your phone gets near any Wi-Fi network, they can exactly know where you are. That location data is then accessed by third-party apps through the phone's permission systems. And then law enforcement and customs and border control will then purchase that data from those third parties. I can see this being useful for some extreme cases like locating somebody who's an actual threat to society. But if they're already selling your location data to law enforcement, then who knows who else they're selling it to. That's why I gotta start reading the terms of service. Reports are coming in that a Tesla bot actually malfunctioned and attacked one of the engineers at the Tesla factory and forcing other workers to hit the emergency shutdown button. The worker had been programming software when the robot pinned the man and sunk its metal claws into the worker's back and arm. Yeah, I don't know. Should we be scared? My question to you is, will you still be getting a Tesla bot? I mean, I wasn't planning on getting one before, but this just sealed a deal for me. I'm not trying to tussle with Sonny for my robot. 44% of all single family home purchases in 2023 were by private equity firms, AKA BlackRock. Want to know why you can't buy a house? Because they're being bought up by BlackRock. Want to know why BlackRock is buying them up? Because it's an aspect of you will own nothing. Because they're creating a world in which ownership is impossible, in which every purchase will be on debt, meaning they get to control whether you purchase anything or not. So I guess pretty much controlling the entire stock market wasn't enough. They had to stick their hands in the housing market, too. That's probably why rates pretty much tripled over the last three years. Interesting innovation that I've never seen before. Lamppost spraying mist on the street below. And I captured them just in time before they turned off. So apparently it's only an intermittent thing. I wonder what the purpose is. Usually, that kind of thing is to remove dust from the air. But it seems so random to have a couple of lampposts on a regular street that's not under construction. Just spraying the... I'm about to be driving around like this. I'm taking all the precautions. In a couple days time, everyone is gonna be mindlessly celebrating New Year's. However, there is a massive issue with this. New Year's isn't actually on January 1st. In fact, every ancient calendar since the beginning of time all ran off the celestial calendar, which is actually a 13th month cycle. God implanted this wisdom on the turtle shell. Every single turtle shell has 28 sections on the outside and 13 sections on the inside. This represents our lunar calendar. This is the calendar that all of our ancestors used. So there are 28 days per lunar cycle and 13 cycles per year, which actually makes April 1st New Year's Day. And it is no coincidence that they call this April Fool's Day because you have all been played for fools. Now going back to the turtle shell, this would represent 364 days plus one day of rest. The sun, the moon, and the stars are all one big calendar. 
This is why every 365 days, the constellations align in the exact same spot since the beginning of time. Which, by the way, is impossible if we're doing this. Just another lie they fed you. This just further proves that time is a subjective construct that humans created and has probably been manipulated several times throughout history. For all we know, it could really be the year 1724. Survival school. Topography map. What makes this United States military issued topography map of Washington State so very interesting is dangerous animals, fibers, scorpions, plants, poisonous plants. But now pay attention. There's no editing in this video whatsoever. One take. That's what listed under dangerous animals. So, what does that prove? That Sasquatch really does exist. This is not a trick. It's not an edited video. This is a map that was issued by the United States federal government air force this is the topography map this really is an official military map and this could be hard evidence that supports the existence of bigfoot but maybe the reason why we don't see them anymore is because we almost hunted them into near extinction and now they're forced into hiding perfectly hexagonal shaped columns of lava maybe if we could find one example in the modern times of this hexagonal shaped lava cooling like that or even a valid explanation for how these columns formed in such perfect hexagonal patterns. But you will find none of that in the mainstream. You will see none of that in the comments here from the boosted community, angrily spewing what they were told in some pretentious way like we didn't get the same government funded educations that they got. And if they just spent enough hours following pages like this that trigger them so much they will be doing a true service to the religion of modern science i'm not a geologist but my intuition tells me that rocks don't naturally form hexagons like that plus some of those mesas and plateaus look exactly like a tree stump after you use a chainsaw to smooth cut brains are plastic and you can feel your brain getting reprogrammed i remember the first time this happened to me was when tetris when first came on the scene I'm sure you've had, anybody who's been a game player has this experience where you close your eyes to lay down to go to sleep and you see all the little blocks moving and you can, you're kind of rotating them in your mind and you can just tell as you walk around the world that you have rewired your brain to play Tetris. And, but that happens with everything. And so, you know, one of the, I think, we still have yet to see the full repercussions of this, I fear. I think one of the things that we've done online, you know, and largely because of social media, is we have trained our brains to be really good at processing super short form content. And, you know, your, your podcast flies in the face of this. You know, you, 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 you do these long format things. And uh, reading, books, reading books is a long format thing. And we all do more of, if, if you, if something is convenient, we do more of it. And so when you make tools, you know, like we carry around, uh, a little, we carry around in our pocket a phone. And one of the things that phone does for the most part is it is an attention shortening device. The worst part about this to me is that it seems like social media and short form content is replacing activities like jogging or walks in nature for getting endorphins because it requires no effort. Bro, you gotta start paying attention to every single song you listen to. In 1953, a worldwide agreement was made by, based on an idea by the Rockefeller Foundation to change the frequency of music. They changed it from a natural harmonic resonance 432 to the current consciousness suppressing state of 440. A lot of you guys don't believe in a lot of you guys don't take it seriously. This video is not for you. This video is for people that are open-minded enough to realize that they would do something like that to lower your vibrational state and basically suppress 
your consciousness. I can see this because sometimes I'll be listening to a song and instantly get anxious and clammy. But John D. Rockefeller's day has been over since the 30s. It's time to switch it back. There's a secret abandoned military base hiding underneath this baseball field in Vernon Hills, Illinois. We found the entrance only to find out that it was flooded. So we put a water pump inside and pumped out all the water. We checked on it a week later and all the water was completely gone. This is the first time anyone's been down here in over a decade. This was a long forgotten Cold War missile base used to shoot missiles out of the sky if they were to ever hit Chicago. You could still see the original signs inside. It's crazy to think that where I was standing was completely underwater only a week ago. Over 10 years ago, the mayor of Vernon Hills and Boy Scouts tried to restore the abandoned missile base. But when the mayor passed away, the project was abandoned and you could see they left everything. Mind. Missiles were lowered through this giant door, and it looked like there was even a second floor used to service the missiles, but that was flooded. There were all these secret rooms inside with giant doors, and when we tried to enter them, our air monitor went off, meaning the air was toxic. Hopefully, we can see that here, I guess. I want to see what's in the second basement that's still flooded, but the next time they should probably wear hazmat suits if the air is toxic instead of jeans and hoodies. Predictive programming is the idea that our governments or our elites, for example, use things like fictional stories, movies, the media, Hollywood, to condition the general public and prepare them for a, a certain type of future event. In this case, you could say the cyber attacks, right? So the World Economic Forum has been warning us about it. Now we see all sorts of apocalyptic movies coming out about the potential dangers of cyber attacks. And what I'm afraid of is that this is just simply them telling us what they have in store for us next. You know, if you know what the globalist agenda is about, that it's an agenda of control and that they love using crises uh, to take control over our lives. Well, a cyber attack is a perfect one to do it. Imagine that we say, well, you know, we need to take down the Internet for a while and it is dangerous, you know, to go on the Internet uncontrolled because, look, we are prone to cyber attacks. Everybody now needs uh, a digital identity to log on to the Internet safely. You know, you have the perfect pretext to take control again over people's liberties and to monitor ordinary citizens and, and make their you know freedom of movement even online limited to whether or not they comply with the government i find it strange that in 2023 even nasa warned about a solar flare that could knock out the internet we've had movies about cyber attacks so if it does happen in 2024 we know it's pre-planned 1920 is when everything pretty much changed they started changing every single thing they started removing certain parts of the history they started rewriting the history 1920s is about that time educational system started changing everything. Rockefeller educational system. So if you find books, you want to find books before 1920s. Because if you don't find books before 1920s, you're usually being told a bunch of nonsense. And you look at a lot of the, the, a lot of the free energy books too, and everything related to the ether, that's before 1920s. The ether was removed from the periodic table after 1908. Every book you look into, it talks about ether and terrestrial magnetism and all of these things. 1908, that was removed off the periodic table. And that was removed so that people would not believe in the ether. They would think it's woo-woo. They would think it's pseudoscience. Those are all terms of the Rockefeller educational system. Coming up with terms to debunk the truth and debunk what we were once connected to. Then when you get rid of ether, you get rid of everything related to the fifth element and the quantum. You get rid of all of that, and then you make up a whole new narrative, and you remove all that, so that when you can't explain something, you just say, I don't know what it is. I feel like they started changing everything during the Industrial Revolution once they realized how much money was to be made, but first they had to make us forget that this was all free so we wouldn't ask questions about changing the history books. What? probably just disinfectant, but if the person spraying it has to wear a mask, then it might not be safe for a cabin full of passengers. The following footage was captured in Allentown, Pennsylvania on December 27, 2023. Witnesses are coming forward claiming that the sky basically glitched. It went from day to night in a matter of seconds with these flashing lights. The question is though, what happened? Take a look at this footage and comment if you have any idea or footage of your own.
want to say that this is a blown transformer, but usually that only lasts for about 10 seconds and then it stops. This looks like every transformer in the city went out for it to light up the sky like that. ASAP Rocky multiple times in interviews says that whenever he releases an album, he loses someone. But before I show you those clips, you're going to learn that he says after he dropped his first album, he lost his dad. Now with his first album, he had this song called What's Up? And in the music video, he is clearly performing a satanic ritual. He's lighting the candles, placing the powder, reading the books, everything. Now, I'm not saying this is correlated with everything, but the timing of all of this is just wild. Listen to this. Oh, every time I'm about to release an album, for some strange reason, I always lose somebody close to me. Pops, it was James, my sister, like, I always lose somebody close to me, you know, for like, you know, some crazy, like, shanks. If y'all notice, every time I put out a, it's like I lose somebody. Like I lost my pops. With my first album, I lost hands with my second album. If that's the case, then the logical next step would be to stop putting out albums or doing seances. The law of money is called the law of water. This is why, incidentally, the Statue of Liberty could not be put on American land. It was put in a harbor because the Statue of Liberty is a maritime admiralty symbol. It's called the Statue of Liberty, not the Statue of Freedom. There's a world of difference between freedom and liberty. Liberty means you ask your father if you can use the car. If he says no, you don't use it. Liberty is what a sailor gets when he pulls into harbor. He asks the captain if he can leave. If the captain says yes, and he most likely is not going to, but if he says yes, that means you have the liberty. You pull liberty. You don't have freedom. America is not the land of the free and the home of the brave. We're not free or brave. We're ill-informed, entertained, and totally ignorant to the powers that be on this earth and how it works. Let me give you an example of how the law of water works. When you go into a court, why do you have to go to court? As I said, you play tennis and basketball on a court. The whole idea in a court is to put the ball back in the other guy's court. So consequently, this team stands up and throws the ball at that team, and that team stands up and throws the ball back over there, and the judge sits here, and that's what he is, a judge. He's the referee. He doesn't care who wins or loses. Somebody's going to pay and he's gonna get paid so he doesn't care who wins or loses he's only there to make sure that the game is played correctly it's called commerce because the whole world is commerce regardless of how this system was created it's definitely broken because it only seems to work for those who have enough money to grease the right pockets i went on a tinder date and he was possessed by a demon i was like where are you from he's like i came down here as a star and i'm like from space i all of a sudden just asked him like where do you stand with God? And he just got really serious and was just like, don't ever ask me that question again. And he was telling me, yeah, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I see this dark figure. I actually like it. I started speaking to him about scripture. He's just getting mad coming back at me with reasons why that's not possible and reasons why wherever he worships is more valid. My best friend, while she's like in the bathroom doing her makeup, I was like, oh my God, I have this video of the guy and I show it to her and she instantly just falls to the floor and is having like a full on panic attack. And she's just like, oh my God, I know, I, I've seen him before. I've never seen him in person. I've been having this reoccurring dream every single night for the past like week. And she said, and it, it's like a sleep paralysis dream where I feel like I'm awake and it's literally him standing at the end of my bed and his eyes becomes like two black holes that I'm just looking into. And it's been happening every single night. It sounds like she just matched with Pazuzu Algarod. I would delete all dating apps after this. I'm sure they pay handsomely to do this job, but being a sailor isn't for me if it's this serious that they gotta convert the whole ship into a maximum security prison. Here we have one of the most amazing insects 
in the rainforest is it is an assassin bug that it covered all its body with wood pieces in order to be camouflaged and hand its prey. So it basically waits in ambush posts and when an insect uh, gets close, it will hunt it. It's just mind blowing. Look at how it's covered. Insane bag. Unless it moves, it's really difficult to spot it. If he didn't say that was an insect, I would say that's a real life Pokemon. Now, the reptilians have a mindset that's very different than what humanity has. Reptilians believe that they are superior to all others. One of the reasons is they are androgynous. They have male and female in the same body. And since this is representative of what exists outside of physical reality, where there is no male or female gender, it's just energy, they consider themselves superior for bringing that type of information to physical reality. You'll also note, based on observing creatures on the earth right now, that reptilian forms do not evolve or adapt over eons or millions of years. They basically stay the same. And if there's a change, they just die out. Whereas mammalian forms need to adapt and evolve as there are changes occurring in their environment. So to the reptilian mind pattern, they're superior because they don't need to change or adapt. Therefore, they're completely perfect as they are. That's the mindset. It's not right, it's not wrong, it's just the way they think. Reptilian and mammalian species should not uh, occupy the same environment. They, they don't belong in the same cage, if you will. If reptilians are real, then they're clearly not superior since humans are the ones that rule over Earth instead of them, but whatever helps them sleep at night. It appeared that the mystery of who built Derenkuyu would have to stay a mystery. The site, just another unexplained marvel of the ancient world. The real problem which prevented scientists from giving a definitive answer on who built Derenkuyu was that the volcanic rock it was carved out of could not be carbon dated, since it was stone and not organic material. The only thing scientists knew for sure was that it had been used for thousands of years by those looking to hide, changing hands and being used by different groups, who each likely added to the work of the last all the way until the 1920s, when the site was officially abandoned after ethnic Greek populations were deported following the Greco-Turkish War. It appeared that the mystery of who built Derenkuyu would have to stay a mystery. There must have been a serious threat at the surface because excavating a massive tunnel system of this scale seems like a huge undertaking. The Skinwalker Dog. It all started in Native American folklore. These stories consisted of witches and evil beings being able to transform into animals. Now let's fast forward maybe 50 to 100 years later. 1996 in Salt Lake City, Utah. The first sighting of a modern day skinwalker on what is now known as Skinwalker Ranch. And from what would become 50 odd some years of strange events and occurrences happening across three owners from mutilated cattle to bulletproof rules. I'm surprised Skinwalker Ranch even had three owners. I wouldn't even consider it after hearing the stories from the first. I ever discover something like this in my house this might be one of the few exceptions where i actually call it a fez because there's no good reason to have a hidden dungeon in a basement that's designed to look like a daycare so i was cleaning off this car and i saw these crazy little rainbows and i was like what are those rainbows coming from what come here look at this Where are these rainbows coming from? What is in the snow that's causing the, the oily rainbow? If it's not leftover windshield wiping fluid or something, then it's probably chemtrail snow.
Whoever is running this music festival at the refund my money ASAP, bro. I did not sign up to get completely obliterated by a giant pink teddy bear. But with that being said, guys, that was the video. Thank you for coming to kick it with me. Let me know what you guys thought about these creepy TikToks in the comments below. And until next time, y'all take care of yourself.